Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Gen Y Iron Grip Anti-Rattle Hitch Pin Lock. So the Iron Grip is going to be offered for 2 inch, 2 and a half inch, and 3 inch trailer hitch receivers. So this is what our hitch pin looks like installed. Now all of our components here are going to have a nice stainless steel finish, so you know they're going to be durable, well made. And it's also going to prevent any issues we might have down the road with rust and corrosion. Now, being a hitch pin that it's on the outside of the vehicle, sort of towards the bottom, these things do get abused from the weather. So it's nice to know that we have that stainless steel construction that's going to prevent any issues down the line. So there's definitely plenty of locking hitch pins to choose from on the market. This certainly isn't the only one. But what the Iron Grip does that not a lot of the other ones do is it has a built-in anti-rattle mechanism. So in regards to anti-rattle, that's sort of a problem area for solid steel ball mounts because there really isn't any room to get any sort of tightening mechanism in there to help secure and snug up the connection. However, with this hitch pin here, it has a pretty unique design. It uses a sleeve that really helps pin the shank inside the receiver tube to give us a nice and secure connection. So to show you guys how well that anti-rattle mechanism works, we're gonna go ahead and grab the shank on our ball mount here, and I'm just gonna shake it back and forth. And if we did everything correctly, we should actually see the truck move as opposed to seeing the shank of our ball mount moving around inside that receiver tube. So you can see there, it's a pretty solid connection. It's definitely gonna cut down on that rattle and noise that we usually have. So in addition to the anti-rattle mechanism, this also doubles as a hitch lock because let's face it, with our larger trucks here, using the adjustable drop ball mounts, these things can definitely get expensive, so it's gonna be worthwhile to protect your investment. Now, I know what you're gonna be thinking, where is the actual locking mechanism, seeing how it doesn't use keys? But the way these little ends here are designed on this actual hitch pin, most standard sockets are actually not gonna work. I actually went ahead and tried a two, and I couldn't find one that actually worked with this you're gonna have to use the included tool with your kit. So if you're familiar with hitch mounted accessories, ball mounts in particular, you know that there's always gonna be some rattle here with your ball mount. No matter how high end of a ball mount you choose, there's definitely gonna be some movement here. But that's not necessarily due to poor manufacturing. These things are actually designed to be a little loose because we actually do have to install and remove them quite frequently in the receiver tube so we can't have too tight of a connection or else it's just gonna make things that much more difficult. Therefore, these things are actually designed with a little bit of slop built in just to make things a little bit easier on us. But with this slop, we're gonna get some unnecessary rattle. It's kind of annoying. It's not something we wanna hear when we're driving down the road, especially when we're towing our nice trailer. Therefore, by purchasing an anti-rattle hitch pin, we're gonna get rid of all those issues. So the great thing about the iron grip it will obviously work with Gen Y's stacked receiver ball mounts, but we can pretty much use it with any other adjustable ball mount on the market, such as the way safe option that we have it hooked up to here. So when we're actually ready to remove our ball mount, we're gonna take our included tool here, just simply turn it counterclockwise to loosen. And then once you break it free, it's pretty easy to get the rest off by hand. So we don't want to remove this completely because since the anti-rattle mechanism here is pinning the shank inside the receiver tube, we're actually going to need to take a hammer and we're going to hit the end of that little knob there just to free everything up and break it loose. And then what we can do, we can remove it the rest of the way and pull that out. We may need to jiggle the ball mount a little bit in order to get that sleeve out as well. But now we can go ahead and just simply remove our ball mount. So we're going to first start out by inserting our ball mount into the trailer hitch receiver and then lining up our hitch pin holes. Now we can take our hitch pin with our serrated washer here and we can install it on either side, it doesn't matter. We'll just simply insert it through there like so. Now once we have our hitch pin in, we're going to take our sleeve. This is what our sleeve looks like. The flange here is going to be facing away from the hitch. Then we're going to take the end of our hitch pin here, our little nut lock. We'll just simply thread that on. Once we start getting some resistance, 
We can take the included wrench. Now we're gonna put pressure on this side of the hitch pin to hold it still. And then we'll just take our wrench and start tightening. So once we have enough pressure on our hitch pin here, we shouldn't have to hold the other side. But now we're just gonna go ahead and snug down the end here. Give it a nice couple good pulls here to really tighten it up. And that should be good. So once we get it tightened up, we're gonna go ahead and throw our wrench in the truck there so we don't lose it. But that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Gen Y Iron Grip Anti-Rattle Hitch Pin Lock.